Hello guys, we are back with another video. So, as you may have heard, the Cyberpunk 2077 game has uh, received an update. Uh, this update adds the RT overdrive. Uh, that is the uh, path tracing uh, technology that uh, provides even better ray tracing than uh, ray tracing experience than the, the normal ray tracing. Like it should be a whole another level. So. I'm going to uh, show you in a few scenes how it looks. Most most of us are playing on high as it provides a good balance of performance and uh, visual quality. So uh, what I'm going to do is uh, show you a few scenes. Each scene will be uh, shown in uh, high settings that is raster, not ray tracing. Then. We are going to go to ray tracing medium, ray tracing ultra, and finally ray tracing overdrive. I will also add a comparative of all four on the same screen after each scene is uh, done. We can conclude that ray tracing uh, does in fact make uh, a very high impact on the uh, GPU performance. 
so we ray tracing ultra rtx 2070 uh, default ray tracing ultra is using also, also the dlss of course we can get around 40 fps which is pretty playable it's a decent performance it's not as responsive as uh, 80 odd or over 100 fps but it is playable uh, and then when we swap to ray tracing overdrive wait for it to sink in and uh, around 20 fps uh, and uh, I did uh, encounter even uh, only 10 fps in some uh, in some locations so it is I guess really too low uh, there is also the option to go with uh, a lower DLSS settings so for example we can go to DLSS uh, uh, instead of auto going for ultra performance that will basically run the game at uh, maybe 600, uh, 600 uh, pixel wide uh, screen and then upscale it to uh, to the resolution so you can see that it is uh, pretty blocky uh, the performance is over 30 fps now sometimes it is even under 30 fps it is playable but i think it is just uh, uh, an overall too much of a compromise to play this beautiful game in such a low resolution so uh, we can say that RTX 2070 Super can run RT Overdrive with uh, with maximum DLSS performance, ultra performance. But uh, do you want to play it like this? That is your choice. If you ask me, I don't think it's it's worth it. You can play with uh, RT Medium uh, for a good 60 FPS or RT. Ultra with 40 FPS and that is very uh, similar to the console experience that our friends on PlayStation and Xbox have. 40, uh, 40 FPS is very playable so I would rather suggest that. Uh, if you enjoyed the video please give it a like. If uh, you want to see more content like this then please uh, follow my channel every uh, follower counts for me as I'm a very small creator uh, hope to see you again in a new video and hopefully Phantom Liberty when it comes uh, this year uh, thank you for watching